Let's talk about something else. Um, how about Gulf War Syndrome? You're the Prime Minister's special advisor, so how about you give me the government's take on that? None of the studies commissioned by the government found any evidence to support the claims made by our troops. So, um, you're telling me that the chronic fatigue and the immune system disorders are just psychosomatic, just symptoms of post-traumatic stress? It looks that way. Yes. And, um, you don't think this is just a wild guess. Uh, you don't think it had anything to do with the cocktail of vaccines you gave them, exposure to nerve agents, or depleted uranium in the shells? We inoculated our troops against things like anthrax for their own good. <laughs> no, I mean, it's... It's good to know that the government has the well-being of its troops at the forefront of its mind. It's just a shame you didn't consider the long-term effects of pumping those drugs into their bodies. You can't argue with science. Which fucking science? What well, government science? Huh? Oh, <laughs> the independent studies. Because I seem to recall the government saying it was safe to eat beef. And how many died on the back of that little lie? It seems your boss has just given Paul a little bit of a rollicking. You see, his boys just triggered my decoy, which sends a call to this phone. Dear, it looks like your ear's begun to bleed. We're running out of time. Sorry, you are running out of time. What do you want to know? I saw the email. The one Tariq Malim sent to Assad. The one sent after you and your boss met Kasim at Rothbury Manor. <gasps> it, it wasn't my idea. That's not important. I just want to know why. Yeah. Sheikh Kasim was threatening to pull out of the deal. <gasps> US Navy SEALs raided a house. On the outskirts of Zoranj. <laughs> King Abdullah's nephew, Nadir, was killed. Kasim asked Hammond to give up the position of the troops and carry down the attack. But by that time, the seals were back on the USS Nimitz. So Hammond gave up the unit at 31 North, 62 East instead. You're telling me Hammond sacrificed an SAS unit for the sake of some arms deal?
the antidote will kick in pretty quickly. How? It's an ambition. Why do politicians do anything to him? The lives of a handful of grunts was nothing compared to a deal that would guarantee his re-election. You're free to go. There's a car park around the corner. Why'd you do it? For the British public. Show them what bastards are running their country. to put this on is just in case. Okay, do everything I say and stay close. Yes, 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 Camilla. So just to clarify things, Prime Minister, you can confirm that both Sarah Weber and the late Captain Manderson's sister, Kimberly, have been killed. Yes, indeed, I can confirm. And there's absolutely no truth in the claim that you sold out Captain Mendelssohn and her men to prevent King Abdullah pulling out of the arms deal. Categorically, I did not, not sell out this SAS unit at all. Uh, and I am proud of that. Uh, I'll go and wait around the back entrance. I think I'll let you deal with this one. Good luck. Just 